get this out of the way here, clear it up. Hey, everybody! Good day to all of you. John Henderson here of the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from Terrapin. Here, in, of course, in place in Georgia, of course, Athens. Today, we're looking at the Watermelon Goose. This is a sour uh, from our friends, again, from our friends at Goose. Watermelon flavored. Terrapin said this is their first goose, as they're saying. Kettle soured for a tart but refreshing beer. So I've been doing a lot of sours lately, so which is kind of odd for me to do that, but be as it may. It is summertime, folks, so you know, kind of warm. Need some kind of nice and refreshing, right? Anyway. Uh, 85 score on Beer Advocate gets a 3.7 out of 5 score. 85 score on Beer Advocate, very good. 3.7 out of 5 on Untap. Picked up the other day at Trader Joe's. Of course, they Trader Joe's, like many stores, like Whole Foods and Fresh Market, will sell beer, the national brands, and maybe some of our other beers that we don't put our names on, but but it's sold exclusively to us. But also, we'll have beers, and all the local stuff. You know, we got to support the local community. So Terrapin, even though they are corporate now, under the parentage guidance of Molson Coors now. So here's what the goose looks like. It is a sour. Again, like I said, I've never been one big on sours for some time now. Never once ever. You know, I always thought, you know, I do a lager or a pilsner or anything refreshing. I wanted something to kind of crush, you know. But thing tastes have changed, especially when you get a little older. A little bit head up top, but not much. Definitely the watermelon. I'm getting mostly watermelon, but I don't know. There's sort of like a an allspice to this. I don't know, maybe some nutmeg. Or something. I don't know. It's an interesting scent. Anyway, 4.5% ABV, so cheers, everybody. Say it wasn't that hot today. It will be coming up this coming week. But today wasn't that hot, but it will be. It's that watermelon taste, but also there's a little salt to this. Definitely lemony, citrusy. Um, my ex, former significant other, um, she did this a lot. I never did this, but every time she would get watermelon, she would always add salt to the watermelon. I haven't bought any watermelon this year at all. In fact, none really. <laughs> um, but trying to get some more fresh fruits in my diet. I'll probably blend something this morning. Yeah, I need to start eating some fresh fruits right now. Use all that vegetables here and there. There's a lot of vegetables you can use and eat. But anyway, um, get off track. Um, yeah, she. A lot of, um, she was always going to put salt on her watermelon. And I thought it was kind of weird because I just ate the watermelon even it was seedless seeds, seedless red, or even it was the yellow watermelons. Yes, yellow or a light, a, a lighter orange or maybe a peach color, but I think it was yellow um, on the inside. Seedless or not seedless, I never really put salt on watermelon, but that was something that she loved to do, so uh, maybe she still does. I think she still does, but I never thought that's you know, it. If she was always very particular about it, if the watermelon didn't have wasn't sweet and it was no good. And I was one that was never about wasting good money on stuff like that. I just thought that would be um 
that was not the thing to do. <laughs> I was just, you know, I was never one to do stuff like that. But anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. So, in any event. Um, it's not what not. This is nice. You know, again, as I said, my opinions have changed about these sours. You know, hot day, warm, summertime. You want something to really crush, knock down, knock a couple of back. Um, yes, a lager, especially a lower, a white lager, or a pilsner, whatever it is, an adjunct or white lager that's between 3.8%. <laughs> up to 5%, no high gravity beers, no, learn my lesson people, learned it, um, yeah, something like that would be great, but I can't do lagers, I mean, I, mean, I can't, I, I, I just, you know, sours, but now, again, I changed the change, even with the Dos Equis lime and salt that I had, I really enjoyed that, especially now this time of year, you know, Warm, humid, depends where you are. Obviously, it's extreme humidity. It's been, uh, especially here in the southeast. And even though we had a break today for some of that weather, um, I can see buying sours, but I can only drink them at this time of year. No other time of year. I can't, I just don't. Um, I know there are a lot of imperial sours, which I don't know. I'm really down for that, but, yeah, I'm just, you know, but, but um, I think Terrapin did a good job with this one. Of course, as, you may, as I may mention, Terrapin now, under the guidance of Molson Coors, uh, I think it's been that way since 2013. I could be wrong, folks, if I am, just call me out on that, but, um, Easily, I can get a lot of their beers here in the state with, with relative ease. I'm sure many of you, not just who live here in the state of Georgia, but basically anywhere under their guidance. I mean, Terrapin is just everywhere. So if you can get this, great. And I think this is a really good sour. Um, you know, the watermelon flavor, there's, there's a little saltness, there's a citrus, a lim, lime flavor to this. Um, maybe a little bit, you know, maybe some, I don't know, nutmeg or maybe a, mm, I don't know, they have some other a spice in there that I'm, I'm I, it's coming to me right now. I don't know, might be a coriander, I don't know, could be. But I think it's good. Nice, refreshing, easy drinking. I think this is a perfect after day, long day at work. You're tired working at the warehouse, working at the shop with all the you know, body shop, the warehouse, you know, or you're fixing the car, you just you just out there, you know, on the construction site, it's a long day, you want something refreshing, kick back. This would be one of them. But it could go either go wrong. There's nothing wrong with a natty light. Keystone light, Bud Light, whatever. Yingling light, lager light, the light version of lager. Uh, anyway, anything just kind of kick back refreshing, you know. Or the second lime and salt or, or whatever it is. Anything within that range will be perfect. Just a, something easy to drink and not overly heavy. And this is not heavy at all. So I'm going to go the same score. Um, 85, I'm, I'll go 86 on this one, so 8.6, so this is a B plus for me for the, uh, yes, let me make sure the, uh, that y'all see the can correctly. The Terrapin Watermelon Goose, really good, nice, refreshing, easy drinking at 4.5%, can't go wrong with it, uh, check it out, you may like, yay, the Goose, right, hmm. John Anderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble. Keep on watching as always. Cheers, live, laugh, and love.
Goose, goose, watermelon. Goose, 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 goose. Yay.